yeah hello another day today i want to talk about uh, screen replacement every time you have your laptop coming on and the screen is not displaying anything a lot of you guys rush to replace the screen and that is not what you should be doing so let me put on the laptop as you can see yeah the screens are not very cheap actually and it's, an, it's also not very eco-friendly to keep throwing these things away because they come back to harm us, guys. You know these computer things with the environment. So try to repair the screen you are having on your laptop. So let me show you how this is behaving. Yeah, the laptop is on and as you can see the HP logo is being... It's, it's, you cannot see it unless you apply some more light like I'm doing with my phone here to see that HP logo. Now, somebody will be told somewhere, go and replace that screen. Yeah, when you replace the screen, you will have a, a working laptop. But guys, it's not a must to replace that screen. There's a way you can repair that screen or fix that screen and have, have back your display and continue using screen at a small fee. Yeah, at a very small fee. So put on the light because I had switched them off so that you can see that, yeah. So this screen, as you can see, uh, it's having an issue. There's no light, the backlight issue is not there. And so that's what I want us to check today to learn how to fix that backlight issue, guys, so that you can stop buying these screens, guys. You're wasting a lot of money for something you can fix. And it's, it's not that when you fix it, it's not going to be durable. It's still going to serve you the same way. And as you can tell, sometimes getting these new screens from China, they are not as durable. They are not as best quality as the one that comes with the machines. So, if you can be able to fix the screen you are having, I think that would be the best thing to do. So, guys, without much ado, is it much ado or they say further ado? So, we are going to, to check the... First of all, I always recommend that you check the physical inspection. We see whether the, the the screen motherboard is having the anything obvious that we could that we can change, guys. So try to check the components first. I can't tell you how many times I've been able to detect an error from anything just through physical inspection before even we're putting nothing under any multimeter or any power supply. So make sure you are doing your physical inspection properly. So let me try to check some few things here. Just a minute. Guys, I'm still working on the camera that I told you about. Yeah, you're supposed to be seeing my multimeter and power supply, whether I'm under microscope or not. But now, as you can tell, you can only see my meter and power supply only when I'm under, I'm under microscope. And this is because I've not gotten ready with the hero 9 or hero 10 or the best cameras I'll, i'm trying to save for the best cameras that can allow you guys to see everything i'm doing here so i'm trying to take some voltages on the screen connector you can check under my multimeter guys try to see where my 19 volt is okay this paper keeps disturbing me it's coming back now and then so that is the ground Oh, come on. What do, what do I do on this paper now? Uh, let me use a tape. Let me try to hold it with a tape. Yeah, now it's... They have behaved now. So let's check the 19 volts. Let's try to see. Uh, I think there's a trackpad here with... Is it four pins connected together? Nothing. So I think I've not connected the charger, have I? Yeah, on my power supply, I'm not seeing any amperage, so I've not connected the charger. Now the charger is connected. Check my power supply there. Let's try to see whether you're going to have our 19 volts there. Yeah, we have the 19 volts. Yeah, so the four pins connected together, that's our 19 volts power rail. And so that is fine. <clears throat> that is okay. Where else am I going to check for some voltages here? So I'm trying to review a few things here, guys. We will work together with you. Just a minute. 
tokens can I get from you? Okay, let me try to. So remember, guys, remove your charger every time you want to turn around the screen or to remove the connector because you're going to damage the connector when you're having your charger inside the laptop and you want to disconnect the screen connector, guys. That remember that keep in mind for the safety of your screen connector and the screen itself. Don't burn your screen trying to to work on to connect or disconnect a connector while you have plugged in the charger. As you have seen, we have taken a reading of 19 volts. That is not a that, that, that is not a very small voltage. So you can imagine what will happen when there's a short short circuit. That might even tear off the screen connector or the screen cable. So let's put that in mind. So now I think we should go under the physical inspection and try to see some few stuff here and there. Try to see whether we can check anything obvious because I've tried to check with my multimeter. I'm not getting some voltages like the three volts. So let's check the physical inspection and go the physical inspection first to see whether we are going to see the obvious. And that chip looks nice to me. That chip is beautiful. Yeah, that chip is okay. And so let's try to... Yeah, physical inspection is important, even in life, guys. Yeah, somebody who is uh, not a very good guy, they will just appear, although nowadays they have learned to hide it. And that's why you hear they say physical appearance is very important whenever you are going to friends, to people, to any organization. Be smart, look nice. It's the same here. We use the same concept here in this laptop. When we see a, a component that is not looking very nice, we definitely know there is an issue with that component. So that as I'm looking for an LED signal spot where I can check the three volts or a VDD. But let me first of all check for a, that's that GND. That's ground, guys. That is ground. We don't need that much. We don't need that place there. So, be off, voltage off. Yeah, image is everything. Nice appearance. Yeah, we have, there are, there are even guys who have been trained to tell you how to behave in front of people, how to talk to people, just to try and look nice. For people to try and have confidence in you, even when you are not a good person. <laughs> yeah, not everybody will talk nice to you as a good person. Some will just wear a mask that particular time they want a favor from you. And after that, isn't it that what we do when you come from job? Just go and throw your suits and ties everywhere and go back to your casual wear. After pretending the whole day to be this smart guy and very nice guy. So, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can check a VDD there. But first of all, I need the VLED or an LED signal. That is the one I need to check because I never got that 3.3 volts. That, that 3 volts, I need to know why it's not coming. Yeah, I've seen it. VLED. Let me put a mark there. That point there. That point there, I need to put a mark here. Yeah, I'll come back to check that. That rail. That rail has something to do with the backlight issue. So let's keep checking for physical inspection as we agreed before. We need to check for indecent guys. Yeah, guys that looks like they are junkies. Guys who don't look organized. Yeah, guys who are not looking smart on this motherboard here. And so let me try to take the, the screen back. So that I try to check that the three votes on the... A VLED. Remember, guys, I need to be on, on power, on, on voltage for me to be able to take that 3.3 volts. So let me take back the charger and try to take that reading. So, guys, now I think now you cannot be able to see my multimeter, neither are you able to see my power supply. Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about that, guys. I'm working on how I can. Yeah, the cameras are very expensive, they're not very cheap. Yeah, the GoPro that I'm using right now to take the multimeter and the power supply, I got that GoPro at around, I think it's hey, 45,000 Kenyan shillings. It's not, it's not very cheap, guys. 
and I wanted it I wanted it to capture the details on the on my table but actually the image never came out very clear and so I I assigned it the job to to to, to capture the multimeter and the power supply and right now I'm using a another device to capture okay I'm not getting the 3.3 volts on VLED let me check here we need that voltage for us to have a backlit issue guys we need that voltage what is here so guys in diode mode let me see the continuity there's a beep there's a beep 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 yeah something is happening here guys some guys here are not behaving very nicely yeah they may be in a suit but they are definitely not behaving the way they are supposed to be so let's check another microscope what are these guys doing so let me take you under the microscope so that you can see the measurements i was taking using my multimeter yes you see these three guys here they are they five they, they're five ceramic capacitors as uh, they are i'm not liking how they are behaving guys so I think one of them is shorted to ground. So let me adjust my power supply there to have a 2 volt so that I can come with some voltage and see which one is taking, which one is misbehaving here. Check my power supply. Yeah, something is taking power here. I've pierced my, my wire with a tweezer so that I can be precise when it comes to touching the the specific point here check my check my power supply there yeah something is taking those amperes so let me go to three volts guys hey you can see the amperage being drawn is too high guys so something is getting hot here who is our guy here how do we get to know who is our guy here somebody here is not in their in their best behaviors so let me try to put some flux here let's see whether let's see which one will melt first and try to to see what will melt that flux first and that will be our guy okay oh all of them no way it can't be all of you let me see I think this guy here on the this guy, I think this guy is not very I don't think he's doing his job the way he's supposed to be. Okay. So another trick guy. These guys are not being honest. You want your friend to be very honest, give them alcohol. So guys, one of these fine days when your friend is drunk and he tells you you're an idiot. Trust you me. That's what that guy thinks even when he's sober. He thinks you are a very good idiot. <laughs> Yeah, your drunk friend will tell you the truth. Drunk people are very honest, by the way. So I think that guy. Okay, let me this let me give these guys alcohol. You know, when they, they become drunk, they will become very honest. And, and they will talk. They will talk to me. So let me get some alcohol here. Yeah, and give them proper alcohol. Eh? Let me get some alcohol here. Guys, we have talked about this alcohol before. Isopropyl alcohol. It's very nice. For... So let me come with some isopropyl, guys. Yeah, there's a, there's a secret, guys, I'm going to give you here. I was given this secret by my grandfather. Yeah, let me put some alcohol here. When you're looking for a girl here in Kenya, you hear them telling you you should code for 5 to 10 years to know whether the girl is a good girl or a bad girl. Okay, still not clear. So guys, don't waste your time. Just go to her village if she comes from the village or whatever home she comes from. Befriend three simple guys. The uncle, the neighbor, and the classmate. One of the guys they went to school with. Buy these guys alcohol. Make sure all these three guys takes alcohol. Buy them alcohol. <laughs> and let them drink properly. Give them a lot of alcohol. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Because the kind of intel you'll gather from these guys 
it will be worth 20 years with a very short you'll gather 20 years worth of an intel within a very short span of time and you'll have known your girl in and out <laughs> okay guys let's go back to work let's not so i still cannot tell which which is our guy so do i need some more alcohol yeah i think the guy have started to talk what do you think yeah let me give some more alcohol here who can see who's our guy? Yeah, our guy is now very clear. He's talking. The guy number one there. Yeah, so guys, do use that trick and you'll thank me later. I'll even put some my number there so that you can send me a tip when you get the, the results. I know you'll get very good results. Uh, yeah, see? See what I'm saying there? I knew you'll get very good results, guys. They'll even tell you the body count. They even know the body count there in the village. <laughs> and you can... Yeah, this first guy is, is so is so drunkard. This guy is taking too much alcohol. He's very drunk now and now he's very honest. He's telling us that I'm the one. Now he doesn't care anymore. He's shouting I'm the one. Yeah, so guys there, they will tell you everything. Hey, this that girl was a slut. What, what? Hey, you, you even know how many guys she used to have back there in the village. And guess what? You can use that formula for x plus 4 is equals to 6. You see? Now since you know the guys in the village, you can compute the guys in the city now. And you can tell me who is your girl. And I know guys, some, some of the information you'll get there, you learn for the hills. Don't waste your 10 years trying to know a girl. Just go to the village. Use that trick I've just given you guys and come and thank me later. You tell me what you found. So I think our guy was one. I've just marked the marker pen there. So let's just take out. Let's take this guy to the rehabilitation center. Yeah, let's take this guy to the rehab. Yeah, the guy is out. Yeah, rehab is not very cheap, so we are going to pay a lot of money for that guy to go and get rehabilitated, and then we bring bring him back to work. You know why? We have trained this guy, and so we cannot... Uh, let's check out. Yeah, the shot is gone, as you can see on my multimeter now. We are not having the, the two beeps. Yeah, those readings are okay now. Okay, do you think maybe now we have a behaving screen? Our screen have started behaving. Yeah, we need to check now. We need to check now. So guys, let's check. Let's check whether you're having a good screen now. Yeah, so guys, trust your friends when they are drunk and they tell you something. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. When your friend is drunk, he's most or that is the time he's the most honest not when he's normal when he's under uh, his normal state uh, he, he state he has been trained to hide his black spots he has he has been trained to behave in a in good manners when he's in front of people but when he's drunk the cells that do that work forget they go to sleep and he start behaving the real him or the real her trust them when they are drunk that is a secret i'm giving you today so are we having anything here? Oh no. I think we forgot about something here, guys. Every drunk friend, every drunkard person have got a friend whom they go to drink with. So we forgot that friend. Now we'll go back there and try to get that friend. There's no person who takes alcohol alone. This guy must be having a friend or two. Yeah, we are not having a display, guys. So let me try to see. Can I find? Okay, let me check. Let me check, guys. And uh, let me first of all do some measurements here and I'll come so that we can check together. Let me try to see what's the issue. Let me go back. Whom have you been drinking with? This is our guy here. So some more measurements here. Yeah, it's true. The guy is under influence of alcohol. He's shorted. 
Okay. So let me do some more checkup, guys. Let me check. What is that going on here? So yeah, yeah, I think. What is going on? Let me check, guys. Then we'll check together. Yeah. So guys, I found out one of the friend here. So I took a bit of time because I never thought this guy would have an, an introvert friend, friend, yet he's very ex extroverted. Yeah, his friend is, is very introvert and that's why he did not shout when he, he took the alcohol. So this is the friend here. For the friend, we are not going to take him out. We are just going to rehabilitate him from here. We are going to have to take him to the rehabilitation center. So as I told you before, guys, the rehabilitation center is very expensive. We need to save some money. So let us try to deny this guy alcohol. Take all the alcohol from the fridge and put more water. And then ground him here. So that he does not go out to take alcohol. So I think within a few months so he will be he will be clean. So there's no need of taking this guy out. Let us just tie him down here. So in other words, guys, the three volt walls is not coming because the, the fuse is burnt. And so I'm jumping this fuse so that we can get the so that the fuse can be able to take the voltage on the other side. Yeah, I know I'm talking in parables, but if you are, I know you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to. <laughs> uh, our drunkard friends. Okay. So let's work on this guy a little bit. Let's try to give him some, some water and some food medicines here and there to clean up his system and see whether he's going to go back to work in just a few minutes okay, let me try to curve this there so that it can not cause short ah yeah let's see now <clears throat> what's up with our friend now uh, let's now see whether we are going to have our friend working okay do you think he has more than one friend? I don't think so. And if there is, we're still going to go back there and find the other friend there. So let me see, let me see. Let me see. Still not. Can I see the HP logo on there inside? Uh, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our guy is clean now. He's working. He's in working mode now. What happened here? I think this is it. Was this a water damage job or what? Was this laptop had a water damage? It did have water damage. What's happening here? I cannot understand. I don't know what's going on here, but this this part here, this section here. But anyway. The laptop is the, the screen is working and that's all we wanted and that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and next time stop rushing to buy a new screen prepare your screen and it will work it will serve you for long and it will be a, a stable screen you can reduce light you can add light all is possible guys so that's it guys support our work through subscribing let me know what you think down in the comment section guys like share share our videos guys and also we have our whatsapp number you can chat us if you want to ask a question directly email or facebook that's all guys bye have a good time there thank you